Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nihira Techies and this is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. So in this video, let's talk about how to handle this HTTP POST request in our NGRX CFX. Okay. Now let me go to my application. We can start our implementation from the actions. Here already we have this add block action. I am going to create one more new action that is for add block success. Okay. First let me declare one constant variable. So the name is add block success. Okay. Similarly I am going to declare one more constant variable. So that is add block. Okay. So let me save this one. First in our add block actions. Let me change this name. Instead of that we have to use this add block. And I am going to create one more new action. Add block success. Okay. And this action also having one props that is our block model. Okay. So let me save this one. Next let me move on our reducers. So in this reducer uh, we already did logic for this add block. So what I am going to do, let me copy this one. I just duplicated. Instead of this add blocks, let me provide like add block success. Okay. So in this next line, we have this declaration. This is fine. In this next line, we are assigning values into our ID. This is not needed because here after the ID is the auto generated field. And also in this add block there is no action required. So let me comment this one. Okay. Previously we not directly interacted with the services. So that's why we are directly added into our state. So currently we are going to pass the data to our services. So after that only if it is success then we are adding into our state. Okay. So let me comment this section anyway for, for the reference we can have it. Okay. So next let me move on the effects. So in this effect point of view add block then create effect the steps are same only so next to this dot action dot pipe here we are using this off type so in this actions I am going to check this add block okay next let me use this x has to map And here we can call our services. Okay. So in our services we have this get all blocks and also have access. So let me go back to our services. So there we have to complete some logics for the save functionality. Create blocks. It's having one input. And the data type is blog model. Okay. Return this dot HTTP. So this is the post request. And we are using the same API endpoint. And we need to pass one parameter. That's it. So let me format this one. So next let me go back to our effects side. So here create blog. So let me pass the data. It is available in the actions blog input. Okay. Again, I'm going to use the pipe. Return. Add blog success. And here we need to pass the data. So currently whatever input I'm getting the same input I'm going to return it here in this actions. Okay. Similarly in this error scenario. Catch error. So in this error scenario we can dispatch this load block fail. So we can just reuse this one. 
so currently our error also got resolved so let me save this one okay here we have done the changes now let me go back to our component side okay so in this component there is no changes because already we have done so anyway let me review the changes so in this component point of view we are used this reactive forms i just declared this form using this form group and I added three fields one is id title and description so in this save functionality we are checking the form has the valid data okay and then uh, whatever value available in this form we are assigning into another own model this blog model okay so in this id value i am defaultly provided as zero so because this is the auto generated field in this edit scenario only i am just assigning the value because we have to use the same id okay so at the end we are dispatching the action if it is the add scenario we are dispatching this add block actions okay so the request is directly going to our EFX. So in this EFX, we are directly calling our services and we are passing the same input data. Okay, here the ID is the auto generated field. Once the request is succeeded, I am dispatching this add block success action. Okay, so here also I am passing the same object. But here is the only problem is I need to know what is the newly created ID. For that, let me do some changes in our service side. So instead of directly returning, I am going to return the recently created object. Okay. So let me use the pipe. So in this pipe, I am going to use the tab option. In this tab, I am going to call one more service. So this will return the last inserted data. So the data type is same blog model and here I need to pass the API URL okay so in this tab I am getting the error so let me import it here because this one also belongs to the ngrx okay so this is our actual URL it will return the all data okay so, so in our scenario we have to return the last inserted record okay so we have to access this one for that i'm going to use some operator limit one okay i added the limit but it is returning the first record okay so next what i'm going to do so let me include one more option sharding okay underscore short so i'm going to short by this id and then I have to specify the sorting order descending okay see now so it is returning the fifth record so we can use this URL as our endpoint URL okay this is fine now let me go back to our effect side so in this data we will get the last inserted record okay so instead of adding this action dot blog input i'm going to include this data and we need to convert into blog model so now we have done the changes we can verify now i'm just removing last two records Let me add Angular JS first version. See the new record is added. Similarly, I'm going to create one more record Java. See both records are gets included. And similarly, if I'm checking my db.json also, see both the records are available. So let me include one more record. see so the records are inserted and also if you are verifying in our db.json it is available okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video i will explain how to handle this uh, put and delete request okay thank you thanks for watching